this isn't your normal art exhibit. Brittany Rodriguez brings us the story of how a local gym converted into a buoyant display of art. Area 44 has been transformed into an art exhibit to showcase how the physical sport of rock climbing can inspire these artists. What we've been able to do is uh, create a pretty incredible community event uh, that we're calling an art show uh, at Area 44 Fitness in El Segundo. Uh, Chad Brown, the owner, is just absolutely incredible to work with. Uh, he's a good friend of ours and he's opened up his space for us to kind of transform it into this pseudo gallery, you know, warehouse kind of thing. So yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been really, really incredible. Kelsey is recognized for her landscape and realistic paintings. Motivation for much of her work has been driven by her appreciation of the great outdoors. I've been able to see in beautiful places at times that you know, no one else is around and the fog's just right and the light's just right and you know, I'm able to take a photograph and then create a, a painting out of it. So it's been, it's been a really incredible um, relationship. Painting has is, is kind of enhanced my relationship to nature and vice versa, um, you know, just from being able to really look at the places that I go to and, you know, think, you know, how, how am I going to put this into a format? How am I going to, you know, communicate what this feels like to other people? Kelsey started rock climbing in high school. She went on to study at the University of Santa Barbara where she met her fiance Ryan Held at a rock climbing gym. The two of them decided to hit the road. It just so happened that there were people that needed some grassroots roots marketing and so we went and we just lived outside for two years and were able to have just absolutely incredible experiences. We would, I mean, we got to live in a teepee by a river. Um, we lived in Utah, you know, under tarps. We, you know, lived in stand, sandstorms for weeks at a time. Kelsey has created a series of paintings dedicated to endangered animals. The red wolf, great white shark, and African savanna elephant were on display. That's kind of what I was trying to do with my animals is, you know, all of the eyes are black because a lot of people, you know, they turn them into taxidermy, you know, statues that are lifeless and they stick glass eyes in their eyes and so you'll never see an animal with you know, look at you and really look at you. Those paintings will be, uh, they're for sale and 20% of the proceeds will go to conservation of those species. So do you yeah. usually take pictures and then kind of model, like this is my yeah. inspiration for this photo yep. and this is what I'm doing off of it? Yeah, there's, there's been a couple of things that I, I will combine a couple of different photos. Um, but most of my stuff, yeah, I, I do a lot of photography. Uh, I'd actually like to eventually do a show that, that combines some of my photography in it. The title of this art exhibit is called Surface, which has been in the making for five months, displaying two very different artists' works. The word surface, I think, is really interesting because people, every time we start a relationship, we're looking at the surface of something. If it's a person or a sport or anything like that, and and really we're only kind of looking at just like the tip of the iceberg. Ryan and Kelsey had very similar paths. Before becoming a professional artist, Ryan was a professional rock climber for 16 years. A lot of it has to do with the movement of actual climbing, which is very different. Even if you climb the same climb a thousand times, every move is going to feel a little bit different for you. And so when I'm working through stuff like this, I'm trying to bring that up where there's a lot, like every time you look at this, it's gonna look a little bit different to you. You're gonna get a little bit different feeling. If the lighting is different, it's gonna give you a different feeling. The outcome of every painting is unique, although he starts the process with the same mentality. When I approach a painting, it's a lot like approaching a, a, a climb. Like when I come up to it, I try to be very raw and let let the climb kind of unveil itself to me or let the painting kind of unveil itself to me. I try not to think, oh, it needs to look this way and this has to be done and this has to go over here because if I do that, I end up, the painting that does not work out very well for me. Ryan puts his blood, sweat, and tears into every piece. The saw blades have more of a significant significance to me. Um, I'm the type of person when there's a problem, I try not to like look around all different ways and figure out the easiest 
safest, harmless way to do it. I like to just kind of cut through the problem. And so the saw blades are very reoccurring through my work and it's kind of about that. Like sometimes you can't just do the most PC way of fixing something. You have to just kind of cut through it and hopefully you measured twice and the cut is good and you can move forward. Ryan's interest in art comes from someone close to home. My mother has, who raised me has been an art teacher for 30 years locally and she took me to my first art show when I was three years old. And I remember being at this show and it was German Expressionism and it was super dark like subject matter. But I, I was like, I, I remember like staring at paintings like this and my mom like having to pull me and take me to different places. Um, so I've always been really enthralled by painting specifically. As a mother, Diane was pleasantly surprised to find out that her son was putting his talents to good use. There was this beautiful landscape, and I said, who painted this? And he said, I did. I said, what? And it started. He, he started painting some figurative pieces first, but within a couple months, right into abstract. And I, I can't take any credit for that. I'm a very linear thinker. Um, I do figurative work, but yeah, it just kind of came out of nowhere. Like the true rock climber in him, this adrenaline junkie needed more. I wanted to go big and I wanted it to be very like just natural like what's coming out of me and so I started doing more abstraction stuff and then from there it was just kind of the floodgates opened. Whether it's abstract or realistic there is no shortage of beauty in this art. I'm Brittany Rodriguez for El Segundo TV.